Welcome to the Get Your Mind Right podcast. Every day, I want to be the first voice inside of your head, the first voice that motivates you to move. I put out these powerful segments every single day because I know the truth. The truth is that when you change your mind, you change your life. So let me, Ryan Suman, the hardcore closer, get your mind right. Never be a victim. Like all my life, I had an opportunity to be a victim. I could have been a victim of abuse. I could have been a victim of the system. I could have been a victim of anything. I could have blamed anything because that's what victims do. They don't take self-responsibility. They blame somebody else. But you should never be a victim, right? What you should happen is anytime somebody tries to make you a victim, you should make them your bitch. Because you're not going to victimize me. You're not going to bully me. You're not going to. I'm a person that fights back. When I was a person that was in the prison system, I didn't say, oh, poor me, they took advantage of me, I'm a victim of the system. I said, I'm gonna make sure that I don't fuck this shit up again. What a learning experience. When I had a divorce, I didn't say, oh, I'm a victim of, of her cheating on me and, and running away with all my money and stuff. I said, you know what, I'm gonna teach this bitch a lesson that I, she peaked in her life when she had me. When Facebook one time shut my ads account down, I didn't say, oh, I'm being victimized because they don't like conservatives. They only like snowflakes and liberals and things like that. I just say, hey, you know what? I'm open up another account and mind the rules and do things 10 times harder than I'm doing it right now. I'm going to mind my business and nobody's going to make me a victim of anything. I'm not a victim of circumstances. I am not a victim of anything. What I am is a person that accepts personal responsibility because the opposite of a victim is not a victor, which is like synonymous with a winner. The opposite of a victim is a person that takes personal responsibility. Responsibility. If you take personal responsibility for everything that's happened in your life, you can't be a victim. You know what? I sold drugs. Therefore, I went to prison. That's my personal responsibility. My fucking bad. I won't do it again. Oh, I had a gun. I shouldn't have had a gun. That's against the federal rules. I didn't know it. I'm not a victim. I took personal responsibility. Now I know the rules. It won't happen again. Oh, I didn't show up in XYZ situation for this person that I was in love with and they divorced me. I'm not a victim of them cheating on me. I'm not any of that. You know what? Now I know that I have to take personal responsibility for that and move forward. And the second that you make the shift from victim to personal responsibility, your life will improve. Because when you decide to take personal responsibility, you start looking for the experience and the lesson and the ability and the opportunity to grow as opposed to what a victim does is look for the ability to complain, blame, and hold shame. And I don't complain. I'm not blaming and I'm not holding shame for anything. I'm shameless. Matter of fact, I wear my scars and my straps and all that stuff on my back as a badge of honor for experiences that I've had because every experience has led me to be wiser. Every experience has led me to growth and every experience has been owned the fuck up by me because I take personal responsibility. You see, every day people hit me up and they say, oh, well, this happened in my life or this happened in my life. And they sound like such victims. Like, why are you going to be a little bitch? Really? You're just going to be a little bitch and be a victim to the force of average? Fuck that. What you got to learn is how to fight the force of average. See, we, we, we hear people all the time. They say, oh, this person was a victim of abuse. Why didn't that motherfucker fight back? Why didn't that motherfucker go and learn karate and martial arts or get a gun or whatever the hell that they had to do to fight back? Why did they decide to become a victim? Here's what I know. Victims blame. People that take personal responsibility blame themselves. Victims blame others. You see, I never look for anything externally. You know, everything that's happened to me in my world and around me is through me. And while other people look for things to happen to them and they say, it's, oh, it's your fault and oh, it's your fault because they don't want to take personal responsibility. I say, it's my fault. I own this shit. Where's the lesson? How can I improve? How can I be better? And how can I just take what experience that I just experienced, convert it into wisdom, take personal responsibility for it, and then own that shit? And guess what? My life is stress-free because of that. Now, I, when I say stress-free, I don't mean stress because of the past. I don't mean shameful because of the past. That's what I mean. Right. I mean, I got stresses every day at work and shit, just like you guys. But I take personal responsibility and I solve the problem. Personal responsibility is not easy. It's easy to blame somebody else. It's easy to say that some existential uh, thing that's not in your control is not your fault and, and to blame it on something else. But fuck that. That's a victim mentality. And as soon as you let one thing make you a victim, then another thing will make you a victim. Then another thing will make you a victim and you'll be completely stuck in victimhood. I don't care what happens to me. It's my fault. And I'm going to do my best to make sure that nothing bad happens to me. That's that's the whole point. That's why we're playing the game that we play. I'm trying to prepare myself in the event that something bad does attempt to happen to me. But at the same time, if it happens to me, it's because of my doing. 
It's not karma. It's not some existential fucking, it's not some external thing. It's not any of that shit. What it is, is things that I created in my reality because I'm in control of my own domain. I'm in control of my own reality. I'm in control of my own life. And I'm personally responsible for every action that's taken through me and every action that's taken to me and everything else. And once you have that mind shift and you make that, you, you flip that switch and you start thinking that way, your life will improve. Your stresses will be less. Your life will be more. And you're not a victim of anything. If somebody steals from you, you're not a victim of somebody stealing from you. If somebody hits you in a car accident, you're not a victim of a car accident. Shit that ain't your fault, even if you learn to take personal responsibility for that, it makes you powerful. And with that being said, if you know somebody who's being a victim, somebody who's letting other people victimize them, and it's time for them to step up and take personal responsibility and go from victim to victor, to go from losing and complaining to winning and sustaining, then simply share this with them. Share it with them through a direct message, through email, on social media, post it on Facebook, Instagram. And then also make sure that you leave me a review over on iTunes. It helps the show out a ton. It, uh, it puts us in the algorithm. It gets us a lot of exposure to where more people can hear this because the world needs less victims. And lastly, if you want to surround yourself with people who are not victims, go over to BFA. That's Break Free Academy, short for Break Free Academy, BFAentourage.com. Fill out an application. Uh, we're looking for new members to go through our program. you got to watch a free video first before you can fill out the application. I will tell you this. If you're a broke-ass person and you're a victim of not having finances and you're a victim of being fired and stuff, just stay the fuck away because we're not looking for victims over there. Catch you on the next episode.